That was cool. Yeah. Oops. My sister in Christ! I am more confused than a zebra bumping into Beetlejuice. What the hell was that for, fella? Bombastic side eye! You seem like an Oakley sunglasses kind of guy. What if for three months you've been saving up for the hot new aviators of the summer and you walk out of that sunglass hut feeling like a million bucks and then you get home and just as you're about to slide those puppies over your pupils for the first time, your wife throws them on the ground. You'd be punching more than puzzles, wouldn't you? Time to fire up the Xerox machine, folks. That divorce paperwork, it better be piping hot by the time I cut this camera off. My work here is done. I didn't like his beard, so I took matters into my own hands. My sinister sister in Christ! <laughs> no! Your poor husband! <laughs> He was devastated. <laughs> this isn't what they meant by bride and groom, lady. Why would you do that? What if I took that and I cut your hair off? I told you I didn't like your beard. If it's not your face, it's not your place. If I took that and cut your hair, you better not. it would be abuse or something. But you do it to me and it's fine. You keep doing all this crap to me. I am more frustrated than a rooster running on too much sleep. Apologize to this little country cutie patootie. This is my beard. You know, there's something very important to me. <laughs> or just laugh at him. Okay, I'm turning myself into a taquito. Babe, it took me two years. It, but you do it to me, and it's fine. Your beard will grow back. Yeah, it'll grow back in two years. You witch. Uh. Can you, can you do a roast? Do you want me to do a roast? I gave birth two days ago. Yeah, two days ago. And you came out the hospital straight away. You've been sitting around all this time. You want a roast? I'll give you one. Ah, the viral pot roast husband. What can I say about you that you haven't already gaslit your wife about? That's one. I almost said get in the kitchen yourself and just read the recipe, but then I thought, what's the point? He can't even read the room. I'm not saying you're a child, but if you did this near me, I'd sniff the air and look for a changing station. Fatality. Your head is so far up your ass, you could put it back on your shoulders from the inside out. That's a disgusting visual. All right, one more. Could you give your wife a minute? You're not the only baby in the room, you know. All right, I think my work here is done. Chief. Oh, oh, sweet child of God! So what streaming service will your trial be on? Amazon Crime? I am more nervous than a salmon in a bear hug. Why do you look evil? What are you, a gargoyle? Who cut our grass? What are you talking about, who cut our grass? Time out. Please, please be normal. The only person who cuts our grass. Me. Why? Okay, he's not normal. If you want, you can get your ass outside and mow the lawn. I just don't get why you're getting so defensive right now. I'm just I'm asking. Not defensive. Maybe someone else did it. Dude, the US military would spend another $800 billion for this level of defense. Okay, they, they would be like, what is this foreign planetary technology? It's, it's it, impenetrable. It looks a little patchy. First off, watch your mouth. It doesn't look patchy. Don't you dare. Keep daring, my sister in Christ. Don't you better stop dropping your ego. Do you understand me? You will eat the ego. I want ego. you to stop that. I want you to stop that. Oh, it's the sheriff of the party pooper patrol. The police are going to come to get you. Who is that? 
Yeah, I got a question for you, PPP Sheriff. When your wife and children are opening Christmas presents and expressing joy, is that like a family felony? We missed our flight. <laughs> okay, I was tagged in this just all of the times, so now I'm curious. Trying to get to Houston, Texas, and human error. It's Ashley's fault. What 100%. time? 100%. You don't even take 50. Yeah. Relax your language, fella. I said we had to leave my house at 3.15. I was off, but you were also off. Ow, my joints. Ah. Took forever because they had one line for people with strollers. This is where I have a problem. Everybody that was handicapped was going ahead of us. Mm, no, angry ballerina kick. And taking 10 minutes just to go through one person at a time. Moving on. No, I'm worked up about it. Don't worry, your wife will make sure you have to board with them next time. Son that can't walk, but they can take some old lady that can't walk. Now I'm pissed off. Because you can carry your son and move normally, you mother. F what do you think? They're just gonna put Henrietta on their hip and skip the B15? No. I am. Okay, well, okay, we're, we're gonna make I, a part two. Gonna... No! The sequel is always worse! Guy shouldn't be dating a woman that's more than two thirds of his body weight. The woman should feel smaller. He used to feel like he could kill her, but he's not gonna. If I'm holding a girl and Subconsciously, she knows that if I wanted to, I could pick her up and throw her into the wall, but I'm not. I'm like, okay, trust me, it's in control. Ma'am, constituent! I am more nervous than a hungry tick stuck on a corpse. <laughs> I feel like my brain cells have been vacuumed out of my head. You, you took a bissel to my brain, dude. This isn't even red flag behavior. This is yellow tape conduct. Boulder jump! Look, I know putting salt in your shoes when you were a kid didn't make you taller, but you gotta learn to let that grow. Go. go, go. And 5'6 is not even that bad. If you were born in the 40s, you would have to duck through every door you walked through. My work here is done. When it's your boyfriend's birthday and he just really badly wants to game. You ask him nicely to stop being so loud because you work from home. Can't have people hearing him yelling and screaming and cussing. Well, gulag callouts don't necessarily make for a soothing Zoom call aesthetic, so that makes sense. So you eventually unplug his computer from the Wi-Fi router because you've just fucking had enough and you're sick of asking him to respect you. I am more nervous than a sailor at sea who forgot his spinach. So he decides to smash all of his <laughs> gaming stuff and destroy the walls <laughs> and then blame it on me. Befuddled heel click! There were actually some like-minded wall assaulters defending this grown man in the comments. Well, shake the sheetrock off your mitts and listen to this follow-up story. It's long, so I'll summarize it. Both of these two were alcoholics. Lauren healed and he didn't approve, so he kept drinking to repress unhealed trauma that he didn't want to work on. She ignored the red flags and tried to mend him. He didn't want it and it led to a breaking point, literally. She got a restraining order right after this incident and left the relationship. Look, I've needed wake-up calls before. Maybe this will be one for him. You think your kid can see it? You sit on a dirt pile of dishonesty? I mean, you cleaned up your mess around the sink, all your makeup. And we are live! Suspect is at large! Look at the sink. I mean, it looks the same, you just picked up your stuff. Your tactics are dirtier than a septic tank after Cinco de Mayo. Close the polls, because we have found our new mayor of Gaslight City. You're joking, right? That's how the bathroom always looks except the countertop is clear. Correction, we have found the new leader of Manipulation Nation. Jesus, man! Look, I'll admit it, I'm, I'm a dirt devil too. They named a vacuum cleaner after me. I'm working on it because my girlfriend loves cleanliness. But it's your response. Just admit that you're a slob too. And if you can clean a conscience, then you can clean a tub. You get cheated on in the middle of a vacation. Oh, easy, please. I mean it. Like, I really mean it. Oh, ma'am! The sentence means nothing! I mean it! I don't want you to count. I don't want you to block no one. I don't even want you six feet from me, girl. I'll There's not much to talk about. There's not much to talk. This is so disgusting, it would make a tumbleweed change direction. God. I can block them, I can... You could have done that already! Get, get the f*** off your knees, bro. Okay, get this Gerber baby diamond member in Uber. I brought you out here. 
Like that's already crazy. Stop, please, no. Why does every cheater immediately revert back to a baby the second that they get caught? They should have a term for this, like Benjamin Button behavior. I'm being nice. I'm telling you to pack your things. I'm taking you to the airport. I'm even get you a flight, bruh. The fact that you're able to show this much respect for somebody who doesn't give you any, that's gonna make you this week's king of the week. I, 39 male, kicked my 16 year old daughter out of my house after she disobeyed my rules. Now see, this is interesting because you've already managed to piss me off sentence one. This is illegal, fella. Child endangerment, heel click. Sorry, I'm judging by the book jacket onward. Just a quick backstory, me and my daughter never really had a good relationship. She often kept secrets from me when she was a kid, and I would only see her twice a month, and we fought like cats and dogs. A year ago, I got custody over her and her little brother. She had wonderful grades throughout the year, and she was given the opportunity to be in an honors class, and I pushed her into taking the class. She didn't want to do it, and she basically begged me not to take the class because she didn't think she could do it. But I believed in her, and I signed her up for it. I am more nervous than a vampire flying through the Sunshine State. Throughout this year, she has gotten grades 70 and lower because she was not putting in any effort. She would come home, study no more than 30 minutes, play on her phone or Xbox, eat, and then go to sleep. I had gotten an email from her teacher telling me her grade was a 62. I got pissed, and as soon as she got out of the shower, we had a yelling match. <laughs> I asked her why her grade was so low and she used the excuse that she had a lot going on and she was trying. I sent her back to her room and stripped away all entertainment and electronics. Okay, something happened to her at school. I feel like every incident when you're 16, by the way, feels like a major deal. Like when I was 16, I accidentally farted in Spanish class and I dropped the whole letter grade in a week. So he should know this and he should have launched an investigation. Even after two weeks, her grade never went up. She would stay in her room even after finishing her work and just sleep. I excused her behavior at first for a breakup she was going through and bullying. Okay. But even after no improvement, I set up a meeting with her teacher and my ex-wife, her mother. Probably didn't improve because the bullying didn't stop. You, okay. After talking, we decided tutoring was the best option. My daughter left the meeting crying and even after school remained mad at me. We got into another argument and she gave me an attitude. She went with her mom that weekend and did get that grade up to a 75%, but I still wanted to take her tutoring. So her grades immediately improve the second that she gets out of your house. I think we found the common denominator, fella. I got an email from her principal saying she had skipped her first session and wanted to drop out of tutoring. I texted my daughter that she was the child and I was the adult, child and adult is in all caps, and she does not get to make the decision for dropping out. She texted me back telling me she wanted to her teacher to study for her test and that's why she skipped. So I'm reading it in his angry tone now. Again, she was making excuses for not succeeding. She did get the issue fixed, but I was still mad when I got home. So I told her to leave, she ended up getting her mom to pick her up and created a sob story where she was the victim. I'm now getting angry texts from her mother and grandmother about how I'm an a-hole, but I just want what's best for my baby girl. Am, so am I the red flag? Oh boy, oh boy. You know what kind of parent you are? You're what I call a Kentucky Derby dad. You didn't achieve anything that you wanted to when you were growing up, so you had a child who looks like you to live out your dreams. That way, once your daughter finally has success, then you can show her off to your friends and family like she's a damn show pony. And in a way, it weirdly feels like you're the one who achieved it. Basically, you're expecting a teenager to live up to your expectations that you once had for yourself, while she's also trying to live up to her own expectations. You treat her like a zoo animal more than a human being. Y you never bothered to really care about what was going on with her at school. You forced her to take a class that she didn't want to take. And then you removed her from your home because she didn't fix her grades the way that you wanted. She fixed the grades, but not just not the not the right way. So yes, you are an a-hole and you're a massive red flag. Ma'am, sir, may I have your attention? I am more nervous than a blowfish in a box full of bubble wrap. I've done my research. You have a history of low effort buffoonery. Cake takes hours to make. Guy, the more effort and joy you destroy, the more people you're gonna annoy. It's simple prank math, dude. But wait! Since you love pranks so much, I put together a list of tricks that your wife can pull on you. Smashing your TV with a sickle while you're watching the big game, dropping a bag of baby barf in your beer, and putting your PlayStation in a paint bucket while you're in the gulag. Don't like how that feels? Funny. <laughs> How'd you pay for the drink? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy behind me, he paid for it. He said I was beautiful. What? You're telling me you let another man pay for your drink? Why are you mad? You got your money back. <laughs> I got my money back? 
that that's not what matters to me you let another f man pay for your drink when you have my money in your hand are you hey, are you, you want, like you got your money this back is, nah, you're acting like i can control that you can't control letting another man pay for your f drink you can't you can't f your drink I don't. You almost hit that. I don't car. care if I almost hit that car. You know what? You need to calm down. Where are you going? I'm about to go pay for that beautiful young lady that just walked in. Okay. My fellow male. Did you leave your watch in an elevator? Because your time is up. This is so toxic. You could drop it in a barrel of acid and dissolve a body. You have a problem with my backpack? I do have a problem. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Not wear a backpack? Wear a tote. Absolutely not! A tote isn't organized. It's like one giant Narnia in there. It's like one giant thing. You can buy a nice tote that organizes your stuff. You know what you can also buy? A backpack! So I'm just supposed to carry everything that I own in a singular bag? Yes. Is there trauma tied to this? Do you get jumped by a Jan Sport in your sleep every night? Like, what's, what's going on? What is wrong with having a backpack? Literally anyone wearing a backpack gives me the ick. I am more frustrated than a man with psoriasis stuck in a straitjacket. What? Quick story, when I was 12, I would always stay over at my friend Anthony's house and I would bring over my Xbox in a blue duffel bag, which, like a tote, goes over one shoulder and has zero padded dividers. Things just flop around in there like a ball sack with no underwear bouncing down the stairs. Anyway, one night I was walking over there and I spooked myself because I started thinking about monsters and my vulnerability. So I started running. I ran all the way to his house. And then when I got there, I opened up the duffel bag and I noticed that my controller had left a huge hole in the top of the console and it wouldn't turn on anymore. Ruined my summer. Oh, there it is. What? I thought I lost my ring. Why did you take your ring off? For my gloves, my golf gloves. Yeah, that makes sense. I am more nervous than a honeybee and a bear hug. Is there golf cart girls here? <laughs> the dice must have a lot of girls in mommy. <laughs> and we have a quandary! He's selling on you. <laughs> You're such a liar. Don't get mad at the kid for being honest, Scott. It makes it even worse that the dude is the one who posted this video as if it's something to boast about. Something's going on. Yeah, something's going on. He's putting his clubs in a different caddy bag. Go get my food if I want it. Okay. Whether you want food too is up to you. I am tired of literally starving day in and day out. Where's your arms? Where's your legs? I'm pretty sure I weigh 140 pounds by now. Okay. Uh, that feels like a healthy weight for a torso. I starve all day every day while your mom brings you the things that you want. Okay, that's her child and she's sick. Do we do we need to get you an iPad, you tablet toddler? I don't know that she's gonna bring me stuff if she wants then to bring me stuff. Know. Not unless there's enough for Bryce too, because he literally sits here and starves every day. Well, maybe you should get your own mashed peas, you Gerber baby fan club president. <laughs> and I'm tired of it. Okay. I'll see all that slow blinking. Look, I, I grew up with three kids siblings. That look is something every parent does when they hear too much complaining. That's that sedative dark stare right there. There's a guy walking around asking women, would you rather be stuck in the woods with a man or a bear? Just hear me out. One in six women will be attacked by a man her lifetime. Only one in one million people have a chance to be attacked by a bear. You live with and walk past in your life probably hundreds of thousands of men. You will probably never walk past a bear. You ain't watched enough nature documentaries, baby. So a lot of people tag me in this video because they think this man is a... <laughs> This man brings up a point that deserves exploring, and pun absolutely intended, I come bearing statistical receipts! Bears heavily prefer eating things like plants, berries, and nuts. They don't like the smell of folks. They'll eat folks, yes, but only if they're desperate, and that's highly unlikely if they're going to be in a forest. Bears very rarely attack if they're unprovoked. They're like ninjas. They don't use their powers unless they absolutely have to. From 2018 to 2020, there were over 50,000 reported bear encounters in North America. Only five of those people died. Since 1784, there have been millions of reported bear encounters in North America, and only 180 of those people have died since then. The reason lady folks are saying this is because male folks have so much more to gain from hurting them. Bears gain nothing, and the only way they hurt people is by eating them, and that pain is over much quicker in comparison to what male folks normally do. So I think their argument is a lot more sound than what you're making it out to be. <laughs> He's mad at me because you smiled at me when you drove by us in the Black Mountain Burger parking lot. <sighs>
Is there a problem? Right. Looking at my girl smiling. That's Who was? Uh, Everyone pray for this man's drywall. Why did you smile at her? Did you find her attractive or something? Why did I smile at her? Because it's my job to be polite and friendly. <laughs> I am more stuck than a bull in a booster seat. Why does any of this matter? You know what I mean? You just stare at everybody you go by and smile? I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I mean... If my girlfriend is, sees a guy that's staring at her and she looks back at him and he's obviously smirking at her, okay. I'm going to feel some type of way about it. Like, well, I feel some type of way about you wearing Abercrombie. You are stuck out of time. The clock on your watch is in permanent yoga pose. It's just... What if I just gave her a straight face? Like, I'm looking out, so do you, you think I should so smile or do you, you think I should frown? Drive. I think you should just drive, mind your own business. Well, I think you should track down your leather wrist wear. You, you probably left it in your time machine. She listened to what I had to say, but she's deciding to, uh, to stay in the car and uh, to go along. Uh, warning! Warning! <laughs>